What's up, YouTube? It's that time of the year again. The most desired time of the year in this household. I'm talking about spring. So this is gonna be our first spring in this house. Our previous house had a much smaller yard where I used to use an electric corded lawnmower. I gave that one away, which means this year, I get to buy a brand new one. So I took my time and did some moderate research on what type and brand of lawnmower I may have wanted. I went from store website to store website to see what my options were. And in the end, I chose the brand Toro. And the style and type was the 22 inch, three in one, gas powered, self propelled, walk behind, recycler smart stove with ready start and powered by a Briggs and Stratton engine. I will admit I got a little ahead of myself before I pressed the record button and I opened the box. I didn't take anything out and I put the flaps back down and then started the recording. So here it is. I brought this home from the store in a crossover vehicle. However, if you're thinking of bringing it home in a small size sedan, you might run into a little problem. It wasn't too heavy, but I was able to manage. So if you have not yet heard of the Toro brand, let me tell you they are a very decent brand, very reputable. I have nothing negative to say about Toro and I am not endorsed by Toro. My father once had a Toro snowblower. It ran for something like 15 years with very minimal maintenance. So I'll admit that experience did influence this purchase. So let's get this box open and have a look inside. The first thing you're gonna see when you open the box is the bag. It's a white bag, probably not the best idea. I don't know why I didn't think about this before I bought it when I saw the pictures on the website, but a white bag is going to get very dirty very fast. But on second thought, that really isn't that important to me. As long as the bag holds the grass and doesn't fall apart, I'm okay with that. One good thing about this bag is that it has a handle at the back. And if you've ever dumped a bag full of grass without a handle, you know how much of a pain in the ass that can be. So I like that very much. So the next thing to come out of the box was the instruction manual. I did consult it a few times for redundancy just to be on the safe side, but I will admit I did find it to be very poorly written. The next thing to come out of the box was motor oil. And I was so happy to find motor oil included in this package. One less thing to have to run out and buy. And also, here's the side discharge guide for when you feel like shooting grass clippings all over your neighbor's car. So the only thing now to do is take the lawnmower out of the box, which I struggled with because I was all alone. If you can get someone to help you, that would be a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why Toro calls this lawnmower the smart stove. This is actually how you can store away your lawnmower in your garage or your shed. And that's exactly how I intend to store it away. This was definitely a contributing factor to the reason why I bought this mower. As you can see here, we have a plastic cover which is spring loaded for the discharge port. Great idea, because if it could come off, I would definitely lose it. Here we have the height adjustment tabs for the lawnmower. Each wheel has one, two in the front, two in the back. The tip has a plastic cover which makes it comfortable to maneuver. So as we take a look at this machine from underneath, you can see it is a one blade machine. Some mowers do have two blades, but for me it's not necessary. Also looking at it from underneath, you can see the wash port. And remember, this is a self-propelled mower. So the drive system for the self-propulsion works off the front wheels. You can see the axle and the gearing mechanism here. So I'm gonna turn this lawnmower around and show you something. This is for all the neat freaks and people with OCD out there. Toro has not forgotten you people. This mower comes with a wash system. Up here is the wash port. You can just hook up a garden hose to this and turn it on, then start the mower and let the water do its thing. They say you're supposed to let it run until you don't see any more grass clippings falling from underneath the mower. Toro also says that keeping the mower underside clean 
allows for proper air circulation and allows the mower to cut at its best. Will I be doing this? Well, I haven't before, but now that I have it, I just might start. So one thing I noticed about this lawnmower when I took it out of the box are the size of the wheels. The wheels to me look pretty big, or at least they're bigger than what I've been used to in the past. The diameter of the front wheels measure out to eight inches. The diameter of the rear wheels measure out to 10 and a half inches. So that's something you might wanna think about. So here's a little demonstration of how nicely this mower can fold away and save you space wherever you decide to keep it. There are two positions you can lock the handlebar into. The first one is the one I'm going to use, that's for taller people, and the second one is for everybody else. So I'm gonna extend the handlebar now into a usable position. This is the position you would use to push the lawnmower. There are two blue levers on each side of the handlebar. You flip these two levers up and it extends two pegs on either side of the handlebar. Those two pegs lock into two holes, which lock the handlebar into position. Very easy to use. And here's where you're going to fill the oil. Toro makes it really hard to get that wrong. And here is a QR scanner, which you're gonna use for your registration. In the instruction manual, Toro does advertise that they have an app that everybody who buys a Toro product can download to help manage their equipment. It's called the My Toro app. They say you can download it for Android and iPhone. But when I went onto Google Play to look for it, there was no My Toro app on Google Play at all. So I had to download it for my iPad. I then called the Toro customer service department and the person I spoke with on the phone admitted that they also could not locate the app on the Google Play Store. So Toro is currently looking into the situation. All right, so let's get to the part about filling the oil. If you consult the instructions, they're gonna tell you to check the oil reservoir just to ensure that there isn't any oil in it already. I did so, it was empty, so I went on to fill the oil reservoir. So the oil container that comes with the lawnmower has 18 fluid ounces of oil in it. The lawnmower's reservoir takes 15 fluid ounces of oil. So I just dumped the majority of the contents of the oil container into the reservoir. When it got light, then I would stop, check it, fill, until the reservoir was full. Toro also claims that you never have to change the oil in this lawnmower. They say, just keep checking the oil and add as needed. Some people aren't gonna like that very much, but others like myself are willing to just do what the manufacturer asks and let's see how it all wraps up in a few years. I also quickly checked to make sure the spark plug was in place and to make sure the air filter was in place. Then finally, and most importantly, I added my gasoline. Okay, so at this point, all the preparations are finished, and now it's time to show you the initial starting of this lawnmower. Let's see how it does. So it took three pulls to start the mower, but you gotta remember, prior to this, the fuel lines were empty. And this is start number two, minutes after the initial startup. This time, it only took two pulls to get the engine going. The mowing experience with this Toro lawnmower was really positive. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I mean, there was the rear flap that would go underneath the lawnmower every time I pulled it back when not using the self propulsion. So I just tried to avoid pulling the lawnmower and tried to go forward as much as possible. When using the self propulsion, it was wonderful. I mean, I almost had to run behind the lawnmower. Well, not really. But let's just say the lawnmower moves at a really good pace. And so it should. This is actually one of the more heavier lawnmowers I've ever had to use. However, it's probably the most powerful lawnmower I've ever had to use as well. Now attaching the bag to the lawnmower could not be easier. There are two pegs that stick out on either side of the bag. They just stick into this gap and this gap here. And that's it. Really, that's it. You can see here from another angle, there are two gaps on either side of the lawnmower. The two pegs just fit into both gaps and that's it. It is easy. So this model lawnmower has two levers on the handlebar. The one in the forward position is the kill switch. The one in the rear engages the propulsion. If you release the lever in the front, the mower will stop. 
If you engage the lever in the back, then the propulsion kicks in. You let it go, it stops. I tried to see if I could modulate the lever in any way to achieve a reduction in speed, but it didn't really seem possible. Adjusting the height of the mower is a very important feature for me. And although it's not hard to do, it isn't exactly easy. This task seems easiest when you adjust the left and right side of either the front or the back at the same time. The levers are spring loaded, so if you try and do one side at a time, it could get a little aggravating. And finally, let's go back to this My Toro app. What can I say? Well, not much, because I live in Canada, and apparently, according to the Toro customer service email that I got yesterday, this app is not available to us here in Canada. So I'm not gonna speak about it anymore than I already have. They did tell me, however, that I could go online and register. At this point, I don't even know if I'm going to bother. I don't need an app to run my lawnmower, that's for sure. So in conclusion, I really like this lawnmower. I definitely will be keeping it. So I guess I can go and get rid of the box now. I definitely recommend it to anybody who's in the market for a lawnmower right now. My favorite features being the ready start, which means it has no choke. You just pull it. The smart stove, the adjustable height, the self propulsion feature, the cleaning feature, and the cutting power. I like the fact that I don't have to do any oil changes, less mess in my garage, and I don't have to worry about getting rid of used oil. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Please do remember to subscribe and share. Thank you very much. See you next time.